Good evening and welcome everybody to another edition of the Music and Mixing Show. I'm DJ Michael Joseph, your host, and tonight is going to be full of questions. Hopefully you have some, I have some, we all have some, and that's what questions are about, but that's what tonight is. We're doing a special uh, DJ question night, and I like to... Say hello to everybody who comes into the chat. So if you, this is the first time you've ever seen this, we always uh, welcome some people into the chat first, and then we uh, go into the topic. So I want to start with saying hello to Ellis. What's going on? Cam, hello. Fly Robin, hello. Hope you're doing well. Um, we are on, I believe, eight places tonight, 12 places, something like that. I'm hopefully able to see everyone's chat. Uh, I apologize if for some reason I don't, like if you're on... Facebook or Twitch, uh, uh, and I'm not getting your questions, I apologize. We're getting a few. Uh, Mikey Mike just said hello, what's going on? So we have, I've got like too many things open here. So we have um, Facebook and YouTube so far. So welcome everybody. Again, we always say hello to a few people at the beginning of the show. And then we go into the topic. Uh, I've got some exciting news about the next two shows that we have coming up. are going to be pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, I'm still doing more tweaking on the system to see if we can get it to run a little bit better. I hope it is. Um, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm really trying to get it to run a little bit better and smoother. Uh, I saw a delay last time on the audio. Um, so we're going to see what, what's going on with that. Oops. That's my bad right there. I'm just clicking too many things. Um, so we are here. Let me get this back off of here and follow the questions. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. appreciate that. I'm not sure how your after uh, 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 Memorial Day is going. I hope you had a good Memorial Day. I actually got out of the city for a while. I was pretty excited. to got to go ride my motorcycle all weekend um, and crash. So that was good. <laughs> no, I'm all right. It was just... I crash at least once a year. So, yeah. So, we're getting to seven out of eight places. Apparently, we're not going to my own Facebook page. So, my own Facebook page, for some reason, is not picking up. But, yeah, we got tonight's about questions. So, I hope you guys have some questions. Um, I have some interesting thoughts about some stuff that I definitely want to talk about and get you guys, get your opinion from everybody. Um, seeing where everybody's at here. I'm going to do another check on my page. It is not going to my page live. It is not. Um, so, that's okay. I'm going to just put that on there so anybody can go see it. And that's done. So, all right, let's get back to questions and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Saying hello to everybody who's coming in the chat. Uh, John Jazz, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. John Colley, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate that. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I don't know how summer viewing is going to go. It's it's always up in the air how our summer viewings go because uh, some people are tuned in, some people are not. Some people are off doing summertime things. I try to do as many summertime things as I can after I knock my phone off the desk. Um, but... It, I don't know how our viewing is going to be, but I definitely want to get some ideas from you guys tonight and see what you like and what you don't like. Uh, like I said, I have two exciting announcements coming up. I think you're going to like uh, some really, really cool stuff for the next two shows. Uh, and then maybe we'll do something different in the summer. Uh, DJ G Mobile, what's going on from Willow Springs, North Carolina? Feel free to shout out where you are tuning in from because I always like to see where everybody's tuning in from. We get a lot of international viewers on this show. Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, what can I say? I hope some of you are back to work. I finally got to do a few gigs. I'm going to share and talk a little bit about that tonight. I want to see where everybody else is doing. Um, like I said, I kind of want tonight, besides the questions of DJ questions, I kind of uh, I want to get together a an idea of what we should do for summer to see how busy you are. Um, uh, first question came in the chat from Mikey Mike. It is about hard drives and virtual DJ. I'm going to put that on the list. And because I have a reason for that to be on a list, if I can remember where that list is at now, um, it's right here. We will get back to that in a moment. Uh, Hudson, Pennsylvania, it's where Mikey Mike's from. Anybody else out there want to do a shout out? Uh, try to move this down a little bit so I can see some more chat. Robin just emojied me a 
scooter, and two police cars? No, I'm legal. I paid for my seasonal pass. As long as I stay on, on uh, federal land, I'm good. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, we're going to talk about different things tonight, including that. So we'll see who else is tuned in. Like I said, always about the first five minutes or so we do this um, and see where everybody's at. Checking everything here. All right. So some of you tune into the show each week, and I really appreciate that. Uh, it, it has become, like I, I've talked about many times, it has become kind of, you know, when I was a kid, I always wanted to have my own show, and here I am. Uh, as technology developed, I get a weekly show to do whatever I want to and literally say, say whatever I want to, however I want to. And I would like to develop it further. I'm not sure where this show can go. I don't know if it's boring to you guys or exciting. Uh, we get, I, I think we get a decent amount of people watching. Uh, I don't know what could draw more people in. Um, DJ Matt's tuning in from Youngstown. What's going on, Matt? Uh, but I kind of want to see what more what you want more of, and I kind of have an idea what you want more of. And I, again, is this being the first show at in, in what I call the the summer section? Even though technically the first day of summer is when is the first day of summer? Is it this month? Uh, yeah, the twentieth of this month is the first day of summer. But I count summer starting soon as uh, Memorial Day. Memorial Day Labor Day is like summer to me. And I just kind of want to see what you guys want to do for summer, uh, whether you keep wanting to go every week, we go every other week or something, different things like that. I want to hear from you guys. Definitely shout it out in the chat. Send it to me personally. Uh, you're the ones that tune in, whether you're watching live or on demand. I want to hear from you guys to to help this show grow to be what you want it to be. I, like I said, I think we have a, 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 a good audience that tunes in, and I kind of want to make it better for you guys. Um, I do have plans on guests coming and all kinds of stuff. I think this month is going to be pretty decent, and then I don't know if I'm gonna um, how I'm gonna make this go because I, I kind like I said, I want to try to fine tune it. I've been doing this show for a while. This is the what is it the 95th show uh, of the music and mixing show. Uh, it is in for those of you who maybe tuned in don't know this show is definitely. Uh, towards the mix DJ, and I'm going to talk about that in a couple minutes too because I think it's important to address that with some questions that get that sent my way and different things, and we'll we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, I definitely want to hear from you guys, whether you want to send it in the chat tonight, whether you want to send it to me, whatever, but uh, I definitely want to hear from you guys, especially not just what you want to see in general with the show, but over the summer, okay? Um, I like to take advantage of summer as much as I can. For those of you who know me, I like to get out and do things. Uh, I've been hiking a lot this year. I'm really enjoying that. Riding the mountain bike, riding the motorcycle like I did last weekend. Um, so I, I try to fill my summer with as much as I can. And I also try to fill my summer with doing as little as I can also because I want to enjoy and just kick back sometimes. So... That's what I want to talk about on that section of it. Uh, I want to let you know that I am back to doing some gigs. I'm not back to doing 100% yet. Uh, schedule is slowly filling up for me. For, again, for those of you who know, I don't do weddings. I don't do parties. I don't do anything like that. I mean, I do a few here and there. Um, but I'm mainly a club and bar DJ, and this show is about that kind of DJ who mixes and, and is into that mentality. And I'm finally getting back to doing a few. And I thought I would share a couple photos with you at first, answer some questions from some of these, talk about how I feel with some of these. Because, this, like I said, getting back to it uh, with a crowd and stuff is a little bit different. So let me bring up photos over to this side. If I can move it over to this side. It might be lagging a little bit when I do that. Why aren't you moving? There we go. All right, so now let me go left screen. Boop, and I'm way down here. Hi. All right, so this was uh, this uh, I've I've gotten hired by this casino uh, here in Pittsburgh. There's two, and I'm working both of them. This both casinos this summer. Uh, there's actually a third one that is uh, outside the city. I haven't really dealt with them yet at all. But this is the stage setup that they're working in and out with us. They have a better booth. I, I'll show you the the better booth here in a second. Um, but this is back uh, uh, about a month ago or so. We're all still wearing masks back then. But it was nice to get, you know, very few people were even coming out then because they were still not used to it. And again, it's the whole transition. I'm wearing a mask while I'm DJing there. Um, let me go back over here and go to the next one. See, I'm wearing a mask when I'm DJing. That's another night at that same casino. Uh, this is the back view from where I'm at on stage. And like I said, that the picture you saw before was from one of the first nights they had live entertainment back at that place in over a year. So they're still developing what they want to do. This room's kind of new. That's kind of the new setup there that they did a couple weeks later. It's going to be different again when I go in. Um, when am I going in this month? 
um, uh, the 12th. I'll be back in there. Um, this was a place I did over the weekend. It's a college uh, club down in Morgantown, West Virginia called Code. Uh, this is a summer crowd, so the summer crowd is really thin. That may look like a packed place to you, but that is about half capacity. Um, you see the one girl there with the mask. There was a few people with masks here and there. I did not wear a mask. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk a little bit about tonight is the fact that um, how, how I, you feel a little different. Like I'm still hesitating when it comes to being out with people and, and, and not wearing a mask, um, shaking hands and different things like that. I, I still, you got to understand prior to all this, I have always been a bit of a germaphobe. I'm not a big hand toucher, all that kind of hugging stuff. Forget that. Not me. I'm good for an air high five and an air high five means we don't touch hands. We're just apart and we both high five at the same time. So this getting back to this is a little bit difficult for me and um, I'm doing okay. But again, two things you have to realize, especially when it came to this club, I've not been in front of a younger crowd like that because the casino was is kind of a mixed crowd, but this is all, nobody's over 30 here and all, all the college ones I do, no one's over 30. So it's a little different mentality on that. Um, so not DJing at all with music and trying to get an idea on what people liked and and is and I can make danceable and energetic in the past year because I don't have play counts to look at some of these going, okay, these songs were successful because I played them a lot. So I'm, I'm kind of feeling my way back in with that. And also the fact that uh, just being a DJing for an audience is a little is to me is way different than it is DJing you know all the live shows that I did here. Um, I was talking about it with John a couple weeks ago that you could practice a thousand hours by yourself, but as soon as you set up and, and start DJing in front of one person, it totally changes things. And that's the way I felt. I I think I did a very good job that night, but I also felt like I was constantly second guessing myself on my choices because of it being new. Plus that was the first time I was ever at that place. So there was a lot of news for me, like not news as in information, but new things for me. Um, we'll go back to left screen and oops. All right. So this is still that place code. This is another view from a little bit later. It got a little bit more packed. That's still about half capacity there. Um, there is a section up there that ladies dance on and they only let ladies dance on. It's neat to have them there. It's it's good for business, but it's bad for me because I can't freaking see the crowd. So I can only guess half the time if they're excited about the songs. I can't I can't look at that and go, oh the crowd loves it down there, but you know, I don't know because I can't see past them half the time. Um, the little computer to the right is what runs the lighting system, and it is part of my responsibility to switch the lights from time to time. It is not a headache. It's not hard. It's super simple. It's not a big deal. Um, this was one of the backdrops because they have an LED wall behind and got to put the backdrops up there. And this one is going to, next picture I'm going to show you is going to load slow because it's a motion GIF from one of the backdrops that they, they put up there. Um, it's going to take a second to load. And it's much smaller. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. I doubt it. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Um, zoom. We'll go 200. There you go. So this is what the, the backdrop with my motion logo that I have um, did. So it was kind of nice. Um, I enjoyed that, having that there. Um, but that was nice. And then, oh, how'd that get in there? <laughs> that was me and my motorcycle last weekend. <laughs> Sorry about that. How did that get in there? <laughs> I'm being silly. I put it in there. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that is that I'm kind of, it is a, is a, is a changing period right now for a lot of things for me. Um, uh, the, being a mixed type DJ is, I think to me, you know, I've done weddings before. I don't do them all the time. But to me, it's it's day and night different than doing a wedding because my main my main job is um, to, to keep them engaged through the music and my mixing. And I know that they've had other DJs down there before they weren't happy with. They were saying they're just too plain. Um, uh, they told me I did a good job. Everybody's saying it was a lot of fun. I hope I get asked back. I mean, they, they have me booked for something else here soon. But I hope that I can kind of get into the rotation there because it's a, it's a good place. Um, and I want more stuff like that. I enjoy that. Uh, one of the places I did last year is coming back. So I'll get more of that, more of that college crowd sort of thing. But again, it, it's it's an adjustment. And I, I'm so thankful that I spent time mixing on Twitch 
practicing because I couldn't imagine jumping back into this 100 miles an hour uh, from not doing anything. Now, even though I, I, there isn't hardly a thing I played, for those of you who have watched my Twitch shows, there isn't hardly a thing I played on those shows that I can play to this crowd. This crowd wants new stuff. Um, I can play some older stuff, and I threw some stuff in there to kind of curveball them, and they liked it. I had a couple times the one guy who's the promoter was there, and he would just look at me when I start a song, and then everybody would just start screaming the lyrics or something, and he goes, all right, all right, that sort of thing. So it, it, it's it's a weird thing to be at. Um, I kept asking him, I just want to make sure I get this right because, you know, it's my first time with the crowd, and he goes, just as long as these girls are shaking it, you're doing fine, and they were, so... Like I said, it's kind of a, a weird, catchy thing like that. So I'm going to go to the uh, chat room right now. That's kind of what I wanted to start out talking about was a little bit of that because it is something that we're all getting back into. And I think it's a mental, for me, it's more of a mental adjustment on a couple levels. One, reading reading the crowd and different things like that. And the other thing is trusting my judgment when it comes to to song programming and stuff like that. And like I said, I've been a year off, so I can't look at the songs and go, uh, this one's been successful for the past three months because I haven't been able to play it in the, in the past year, so I don't know if it's popular and cranks this crowd. So I was doing a little bit off of what they wanted to ask for. They asked for quite a variety of things. One point, they come up and ask for some reggae, so I started dropping reggae, and they went nuts, so I know that's, that's something I can work with. So... Again, tonight's about DJ questions. Uh, I just want to kind of wanted to open up with that to explain to you where I'm at right now, working back into all of this. Uh, and also, like I said, as, as summer goes on with the show, I want to kind of de try to define a little bit more what you guys want out of the show, what you want to see. The next two Wednesdays I have planned, and you're going to like them, I think. I hope you do. Um, next Wednesday, the 9th, Jay Brennan from Pioneer is coming on, and he is going to answer any record box questions you have. Because I told you I was going to get someone to cover uh, uh, Virtual DJ, because that one's a popular one. People like that one. Uh, uh, in, in fact, the week after that, the 16th, we'll be back to another Virtual DJ question and answer night. So if you have any questions, and I have a boatload of stuff some of you have asked on uh, comments on, from previous videos. So I've I've taken them down and we're going to cover some of those in two weeks on the 16th and any other virtual DJ questions bring to me on the 16th in two weeks. But next week, Jay Brennan's coming in. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know him, uh, he's, he's the man when it comes to Pioneer as far as I'm concerned. I know there's other people that hold a higher title, but everybody, you know, him and Pioneer, you, it's just the same. It, it, they're just one thing to me. And uh, they've been pushing their record box software a lot, and it's doing really, really well. And I wanted to bring him in and answer any questions you have from either a person who uses record box point of view or someone who's interested in record box point of view. I want you to come in both ways to ask that. And I'm sure since he's there, we can talk about uh, uh, Pioneer stuff too, if you have any qu Pioneer questions. But he's mainly coming on next week, uh, Wednesday the 9th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, and he's going to answer your record box questions. So that's the beginning of summer. And again, right after that, we're going to do the virtual DJ week. And then we'll kind of see how summer goes, whether you guys want to continue every single week or, or whatever. Uh, our numbers have been a little bit up and down. So again, it's hard to say. It's summertime. So let's go to the chat and see here what's going on. Um, what do you do when you get a glitch on a MacBook? Uh, Junior Grande, uh, do you want me to answer that? <laughs> For those of you who know me, I, I'm a big fan of Windows, always have been. I think my, my camera's crooked or not. Maybe I'm just crooked. Maybe that was crooked. I don't know. But my answer to be, if you get a glitch on a MacBook, is to get rid of it and buy Windows. Um, but to the honest answer, now that I'm, I'm messing around, the honest answer is I, it would be very hard for me to help you out on that unless I was there seeing what the glitch was, whether the glitch was a video glitch, an audio glitch, a memory glitch, different things like that. So my advice just on answering that the best of my ability is just start troubleshooting little bit by little bit. You, If you're having glitching, when it comes to a controller, first thing you do is switch out cables, stuff like that. Uh, check and see what's running in the background. Uh, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Start with the basic things. Uh, uh, it, narrow things down as much as you can. If it's an audio glitch, start messing with the audio and different things. Uh, if it's a if it's a glitch with the screen, then start messing with that. So you start eliminating where the glitch is coming from. I say memory glitch because if for some reason it's not handling and processing stuff, it will... It, it, 
Mac does a little different the way it processes uh, stuff. It doesn't stack up like Windows, um, but it can be one of those things. And that's the best thing I can tell you to do is kind of just troubleshoot through it. And whatever software you use, um, all of them have great uh, um, forums that you can go and ask questions. You can go in there and say, this is the MacBook I have from this year. This is the problem. And there's a good chance that someone's going to be able to help you. So that's the best I can help you with right there. Um, uh, Mikey Mike said he loved the backdrop. That was a fun backdrop because you didn't, I didn't even need lighting for my thing because that, that was between everything. I had enough lighting to see everything. Uh, Mike says he's ma mask free. Uh, Robin says she loves the layout. I do too. Like I said, aside from them dancing in front of me and not be able to see, it is a very conducive setup to reaching the crowd, in my opinion. I, I can really feel and move the crowd with that. Um, both of those places are amazing. Mike, Mike said there's mud on the tire. You have no idea how much mud I went through on Sunday. It was, oh my word. I, I, I'll show you if I, if I have this here. I think I still have it somewhere here. Um, I'm clicking on the wrong things. Uh, not, not that we need to talk about motorcycles on a, a DJ show, but it's just a part of my life, you know? Um, where is that picture at? Yeah, of course I don't have it here. Um, but yeah, keep, ask your questions if you have them in there. I'm going to jump in here and grab this for a second. There it is. So, this is how much mud I had after riding one day. Um, that's how much mud caked up onto the bike and the engine. <laughs> It was a muddy day, I tell you that much. So that's what I had going on there. So let's get back to the questions here. Um, DJ Matt Matic says, "Can I use Serato and stream in Twitch on the same laptop? If so, how?" Um, you can. I do everything on mine um, via the same laptop. Uh, if you go to Disc Jockey News' YouTube page, that's youtube.com forward slash Disc Jockey News, and search their videos for my Twitch setup. I did a video showing my entire Twitch setup. I do use virtual and I do use OBS, but I talk about how I do it and I do it all from the same laptop. Um, it can be done. I know much many people that do it. Uh, it it's like I said, there's there's a lot of setup that you have to do because, like I said, I, I I have running on there. Like I said, if you watch the video, I have multiple screens. So I have my laptop screen and a secondary screen. I have my DJ program running, my controller hooked up. I have OBS running. I'm catching video from virtual DJ, so it's not only a camera pointing at me. I have a camera pointing down at my deck, and I'm capturing the video from the music videos going on all at the same time, plus other stuff. So there's a lot you kind of have to add there. And, and it can be done, uh, but it takes a little bit of work. It isn't just press a button. I do believe there are, um, um, what do you call those, templates out there for people to use. I'm pretty sure that both OBS and uh, uh, what's the OBS streaming one? The um, What's it called? Um, stream, stream, stream Labs OBS is the other one. Um, they do have templates for doing things. You can check those out. But it can be done. But it's going to take a little bit of work. Uh, like I said, go check out my video on that. And about a zillion other people during the lockdown made videos about it also. So I hope that helps. Uh, Mike says, Jay's a riot. Yes, he is. Um, um, he also says, we're all amazing. Thank you. Uh, another Lenovo shout out from him. Uh, again, throw in your questions in the chat. This is this was supposed to be about DJing questions. If you have anything, uh, I kind of I kind of wanted to take again. I went back and looked at questions that people were leaving in the previous videos, and all the questions were about virtual. So I want to uh, um, handle those next uh, in two weeks. I'm gonna uh, handle those on air in the next two weeks, and that's where those are gonna come from. But like I said again, next week Jay's coming in to give. Um, uh, 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 record box questions for you and then I'm going to have someone next month in July do Serato questions so we're going to have someone in from Serato doing Serato questions in July so we're kind of spreading that out but I think I'm going to do at least once a month for the virtual because you guys like the virtual and it's easy for me to answer the questions and I have a lot of fun at it so that's probably what that's going to be uh, uh, once a month with me doing virtual questions but we, like I said we are going to have that um, uh, it's hard to say what kind of equipment we're going to get between now and um, the DJ Expo. So it, that's one of the things that you kind of have to look at and, and what am I going to be able to cover and show and talk about between then? Because 
uh, we're hearing all kinds of stuff about part shortages because you got to remember that if you have one transistor that, that goes with electronics, that same transistor can be used in everything from your household blender, refrigerators, TVs, smart, not necessarily smartphones, but uh, DJ gear, anything that has electronics in it, cars, all kinds of stuff. So um, that's kind of a thing that there's going to be because I've even heard uh, Samsung talking about the fact that there are certain phones that they're not going to release in 2021. They're going to wait to 2022 to release them because of part shortages. They want to keep the ones that they have currently released being able to send out uh, you know, up-to-date models and stuff as opposed to putting out a brand new one. So, uh, Questions in the chat. Um, Mikey Mike asks, what Lenovo do I use? I use the Lenovo why 700 I think <laughs> it's a gaming computer I think it's the 700 because I have two I have a um, Lenovo uh, what is that called um, I know I just blanked I did a whole show on computers a few weeks ago too um, what is that called um, the Y700 is the gaming computer it's about four years old and uh, the yoga uh, it's uh, um, Lenovo Yoga is my backup computer. And I recently, do I have them anywhere near here? I recently updated, hold on a second here. I have the backup computer here. And I get stuff out from underneath of it. I recently decided to update, because I uh, at the bottom of my laptops, both of them, I had my Denon sticker, because I'm a Denon DJ, as you can tell. And I love virtual. So I decided to use my label maker and make a label uh, uh, on from both laptops. This is on both laptops, but this is my backup laptop. And uh, for both virtual and Denon, so um, that's what it is now. I have the same thing on my my good DJ computer at the bottom, but that that my full DJ computer has the full logo on there. But I made that for, just with a label maker, and showing my brands off. And I'm probably gonna maybe do a disc jockey news one too. I think. Um, experiment uh, that came up with um, uh, a few weeks ago. We did a thing on branding, and that was got me thinking a little bit more. I'm going to do a little bit more on branding. And like I said, I think I want to do Disc Jockey News, too, because they're, they've always been a supporter of me in, in so many ways, giving me these options. And that's kind of, I like that. So I think I'm going to do that, too. Um, John Colley says, any issues running the new Virtual Duty 21 live at gig so far? No problems whatsoever. John, you and I talked about me having an issue with the um, video, the, the uh, uh, NVIDIA video card that's on my gaming laptop and, and we talked about the fact that I had shut it off and not had a single problem since then so at the casino um, I do videos at the one casino I do videos at the other casino I just do audio and at that gig down there that was the weird thing I spent all winter all last year doing video on Twitch and I remember sitting there DJing and my mind was thinking video but at that club I was not doing vi a video so it was odd for me to not have video going on I just had audio but I've had not had a single problem whatsoever anything like that um, I see a question coming up and I want I want to talk about this here in a minute um, so I've had no problems whatsoever with 2021 uh, I update the latest ones and there was recently an update to the change log um, uh, that now, uh, for those of you who don't know, that with the uh, Pioneer S11 mixers, they gave a thing where you're able to take your hot cues and split them. It's called split pad mode. And you're able to have like the top row be one thing and the second row be another. Virtual always had that, but you had to do a little bit more uh, MIDI mapping to do that. Now they have it as a, as a perfect uh, part of it, and it is in there with some other stuff. There's this... And they're, they've they've updated it twice, and this is all uh, early release. It's not it's not on the standard release at all. It's only on the early access release, and that's the one I, I test on the computer. So what it would look like is right here. I have it set on split cue. So this song here, uh, uh, I I instead of having hot cues, just hot cues, which you can see hot cue five is there and all of that. Um, I go in there and do the split cue page. Is it set split cue page? And I do the custom audio, split audio. And then what that does is it makes the second one, I made a separate, uh, that's my normal custom audio pad mode. And then this is the custom audio for split. So what I did was I made one to where it had uh, uh, different things on it. So it's covering cue points on the top row and audio effects on the second row. So you can have uh, your, your pads down at the bottom of your controller um, 
doing both of those and I think I'm gonna do a video on that soon too but that's one of the things in the early access that's coming out and no no Mike you didn't stump me I just wasn't thinking about my own computers um, scrolling on down here uh, <laughs> Matt Swaggin says apparently I need to upgrade my label maker I did pick up a really good label maker a couple years ago it's a brother label maker that I can actually design stuff on the computer and you can do all kinds of different colors to it uh, probably about three or four years ago I bought it and I've been having a lot of fun with it I mark everything uh, like including because as you're DJing it's very dark in the places that I DJ it so if you're plugging stuff in I have everything marked so on my controller I have a little white line uh, for, with white tape that shows me where my XLR is for my main for my power and for my uh, USB cord because instead of me trying to figure out what's that there's a line pointing at it and on both computers I do this to where if I have um, plugins it's I put these on top from the label maker to show the different types of plugins because those are two USB C's and on the other side we have a couple of A's and I mark those so that when I'm DJing I, I just can know where to plug stuff in at and I did the same thing on my regular DJ computers done the same way uh, and it has a buttload more connections than that one does so label makers can do a lot I like it um, it works for me it's the uh, I don't even know where it's at it's packed away now but I did that with the label maker and I think I might get some red uh, and do something with the red but again I wanna not when I did those the other night I, I said well I need to do something for disc jockey news and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet so moving on here um, Mike says I have one issue since we're duty updated I keep seeing my backup drive even have ignored it did you try the thing I told you to Mike I want to do that and uh, check that out but I do have plans on answering that one uh, in two weeks a little bit better because I think answering your question about finding other drives still showing up even though they're unplugged is something that I want to cover in two weeks in a virtual night I'm gonna talk about that but I'm hoping that it helped what I what I told you to try but in two weeks we'll do that again so uh, any more questions here uh, I'm thinking about buying powered speakers I've been using passive by amp speakers for 40 years and, and, and their part shortage I will tell you first off um, uh, first off Mike you said yes you did did it work or did it not work that's what I want to ask um, but uh, get back to um, uh, Jake Jones's question uh, I'm old enough to where I had to deal with powered speakers I'm uh, you know amped speakers in the past and uh, I don't even know how long ago it is now that I bought a pair of uh, QSC K12s uh, with a good D-class amp. And I, again, it's not for everybody. Some people don't like the sound as well, different things like that. Um, but for simplicity, I, I honestly think sound-wise is nearly as good. I mean, you would really have to take a, a special ear to hear the difference between an amped set of speakers as opposed to a powered set of speakers um, a good ear can hear it but the average person's not I'm not saying there's no difference I'm just saying that there is there's a difference but not enough to worry but for me carrying something super super lightweight uh, uh, and not having to worry about an amp and the D-class amps are very powerful in what they put out because the K12s do a thousand steady 2000 peak off a 250 pull so it is doing it is amping that up a lot and it has a, a, a break I know what you call a breaker safety system that if it gets too hot or over pushed it will shut off before it blows um, the D-class amp is very efficient so it is not using a lot of wattage I know that I figured out the power of what it pulls that I can have two of those two um, gig bars my computer and my controller set up running off one and I did it this way intentionally to find out household double plug so I know that I can run all of that off of a one single double plug household 20 amp thing without a problem so that is one of the things EV has a bunch of great ones um, I, I would recommend if you can bought rent some from a rental place for a weekend at one of your gigs and give them a try uh, that's the best way to kind of tell and see if you like them or not but I personally never want to carry an amp ever again um, this I, I love my QSC K12s they have a K12 version 2 that has an onboard signal processor that is crazy amazing that would be crazy amazing um, and, and all EVs too also I'm not just saying QSC but EVs have those and a couple other companies have them with an the onboard sound processor and different things like that and it's they can do a, a lot nowadays like I said there's a lot of technology that's amazing in them uh, where you can 
invest some money. Like I said, most of them now, like QSC, has a six-year warranty on it. So you buy it no matter what happens to it for six years, you're covered. And uh, EV does it, different ones like that. So definitely check those out. Um, but I would advise, my opinion, if you're asking just my opinion, go to powered speakers, always. I mean, you can, if you, if you don't like the, the top kinds with the subs, then go to, you know, like, um, uh, uh, what's the one that Evie has the, 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 I want to say P90, but that's the exercise thing. Um, <laughs> the EV uprights, I can't even think of what they're called. The same with, uh, um. Um, I am blanking on names tonight. Brands, names, and stuff like that I can't think of. So anything tech, technological, I'm kind of using the QSCs. Um, I love the QSC, the bass on that. Yeah, Mike Sainz like the bass. Um, but uh, Bose is the other company that has the uprights. And like I said, EV has some that are great, really great. I like them. But find out what works for you and the type of gigs you do. Um, but definitely, Robin says no more amps. Yeah, when you step away from that and... and excuse me, not have to pick it up and do things and move it and and everything is just kind of connected and, and it runs. Uh, that's that's a special thing. So, yeah. Um, Mike says that the, the advice I gave him for that didn't work. Um, give me some time to think about that because that's kind of always what's in there. Uh, we'll talk about that there. Evolve Series. Thank you, John. Thank you. I wanted to call them something else. The P90 is the exercise thing, right? If I'm correct on that. Um, but if, which is good for you, too, if you want to get into the P90 and uh, whatever the, the the Evolve series is. P50, is it, or E50? I can't remember. I know I've heard them. E, the EVM30 array. Yeah, there's <laughs> so many letters nowadays, and I know I'm kind of crazy. But definitely keep hitting me up with your questions. Um, I, I, I think that this um, the Evolve 30 and the Evolve 50, yeah, the Bose L1s, yep, uh, all good ones. Uh, uh, compared to an amp... Now, here's where my thing I don't know about. Like, if you're comparing prices of those to comparing prices of, like, as you said, you're running out of parts, uh, replacing speakers that need an amp or replacing amps, the price comparison that way, I don't know what that would be. So I don't know if one would be more expensive, if they would be generally the same. You get away cheaper one way. That I couldn't tell you because I have not looked at unpowered speakers or amps in 20 years because I just don't want them. So, Yeah, the Evolve, the Bose. Um, I think I like the Evolve better than the Bose. I'm not a Bose fan. I just don't like how Bose sounds. It's it's intended to be a very medium kind of sound, and as a club DJ, and I want some, some boom. I want it to push the room. I want you to feel it, and I don't think the Bose do it as well as the Evolves, in my opinion. That's all I'm saying. Everybody has their opinion, which is great. That's why this is America. America! All right, any more questions? Bring them. Again, remember next week, Jay's coming in, going to answer your record box questions. And the following week, I'm doing another virtual DJ question. Uh, how much RAM are you using in your laptops? I believe there is 12 in that one and 8 in the other, but the other one has a higher processor than this one. So I think that's an uh, 6 Gen i7, and this is like a 6 Gen i5, if I'm correct. This one has 12, that one has 8. I have uh, when I updated that when I did I did some updatings to it I went from a small because it, it had internally when it came because I, I believe in using internal drives I don't like using external drives so each one I use has dual internal drives and the main DJ computer came with a small uh, uh, um, M.2 style uh, hard drive which is a C and it had a D as a regular um, terabyte drive. What I ended up doing in, in the updates, I ended up doing a terabyte M.1 in there and a terabyte solid state drive. So both drives are solid state. They're both full. And when I did those, I didn't feel that I needed to put more RAM than 8 in it because it ran so good that way. So I'm still looking at it going, I don't think I need more RAM in it. It's fine. That one works good with RAM. Uh, I'm just messing around with my studio computer. I'm hoping this looks better because I put a new uh, power supply in the studio computer and I put a new older NVIDIA video card that I'm now running off of um, recently. So I've been doing some updates to the studio computer too. Um, not that this one gets used for a whole lot, but it's it's kind of my thing. But that's, that's where I'm at with RAM. Um, you can't go wrong with RAM, but that's all I, I like I said that's what I think that I need uh go says 1500 watts at seven 
pound amp is heavy PV IRP and you are only one cable to one speaker. Yes. Yeah, that's the other thing. Less cables. <laughs> Yeah, and, and a lot of the preamp, I mean, not a lot of the powered speakers have multiple connections. So if you needed to set up one, and like, like I said, with my QSC as an example, I, if I need to set up one, I can put just RCAs out of the back of it down to an MP3 pay, player, another computer, and just have sound for another room playing with just that speaker and just some sort of uh, music source. So those are kind of advantages with the newer ones that you don't have to, like I can have one speaker set up by itself no no speakers running anywhere and a small little uh, RCA or whatever you want to plug, but it has RCAs, XLRs, everything, and running down to a, a, a sound thing and, and that things like that make it really convenient. I, like I said, I, I really love my, uh, my QSCs. Um, I don't use them as much as a lot of people because I don't do a lot of live events, but when I do pull them out, um, I, I'm happy with them. If anything I'm unhappy with is I uh, years ago bought some very cheap... Um, stands and I'm still using those cheap stands I need to upgrade I do have a really nice set of much taller ones that I use sometimes when I need to get distance on certain places they're really nice but they're way taller than normal and so I do need to invest in some again I don't DJ out enough with them to ever think about it but I do need to invest in better speak uh, speaker stands because mine are cheap and and every time I throw a speaker on them, because again, I don't think I've had my my speakers. I don't think I've done a mobile setup with my speakers. And well, again, remember we lost 2020, so it's been at least minimum two years uh, since I've had speakers out anywhere. I just don't. I do clubs and bars, and I don't do any kind of stuff like that. So I will maybe have them out on a good year five times in a year on a good year. Other ones is less than that. Um, moving down. Um, uh, one power outlet is rated at 1500 watts. Yes. I'm not sure if that was a statement or a question. I think that's a statement. So there you go. Any more questions? We still got some time. <clears throat> I, I kind of wanted tonight to be a little different because I wanted to get your feedback on how you want things to go for the summer. Do you still want me to come on here every, uh, every week? Do we want to do every other week just for the summer and then come back and, and, and uh, you know, after Labor Day, come back and doing every week. Uh, like I said, like like most people, I try to fill my summer with doing a lot of stuff. Uh, like I said, I like to hike, ride a mountain bike. I was out last weekend up in the mountains on the on the motorcycle. I do off road riding there, um, so I, I I try to enjoy getting out like that. Um, so if you also are like that, and maybe you don't want to sit in every Wednesday night or tune in, because a lot of people do watch this on demand, and I thank you if you're watching on demand. Thank you so much for tuning in, but um. Just kind of let me know if you think that's something you want for the upcoming year, uh, uh, stuff like that, topics you want. Like I said, uh, in case you just tuned in or something, next week, Jay Brennan from Pioneers coming on, and he's going to answer all your record box questions. Uh, the following week, I'm going to do another virtual DJ show, and in July, I am bringing someone on to do a night of Serato questions. So if you have any Serato questions, I'm going to bring someone who is well-experienced in that and be able to answer any kind of setups and different things like that. Uh, Mikey Mike says, do you ever go into the chill room? Yes. The last time I went to the chill room, for those of you who don't know, uh, pretty much every single week, uh, every single night since the beginning of the lockdown, uh, DJ and TV put together this chill room. And it's a place where uh, it's a Zoom where you can go in and hang out with other DJs. There's no DJing. It's just people talking and hanging out. Sometimes it's conversations about DJing. Sometimes it's about food or cars or whatever. But it's just kind of a chill place that you can hang out in the evenings and, and and kind of talk with other DJs about anything. And that's what uh, Mikey Mike was asking about the, the chill room. Um, I do go in there. A couple weeks ago, I jumped in the chill room. Uh, it tends to go a little later. So I jumped in at like 10 or 10 or 10.30, and there was nobody else in the chill room. And I stayed there for a while and just ended up uh, getting off the channel at that point. But the chill room uh, runs very late. Uh, but basically, you can go there anytime it's... Um, uh, Robin, can you please put that in the chat? Because I always get it wrong. Uh, it's DJ Disc Jockey News. No, it's DJNTV.com forward slash chill, if I'm correct. Uh, let Robin throw that in there. I might jump on tonight for a little bit. So if anybody, right after this show tonight, if you want to join me over in the chill room, Robin's going to throw in uh, the chat right now, and then I'll read it out to everybody, the exact thing you need to go to. And over there, uh, it's live, so you can just ask questions, stuff like that. Um See what's going on here. Still got a couple times. Uh, thank you, Kelly Cal. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. Appreciate me. Um, I've actually heard this is this is a weird thing. I've heard some people over the past couple of years who are very very well known 
in the DJ community uh, ask about you know giving back, teaching, and they flat out said, I really don't care about helping people. I, I'm just in it for the money. I'm the opposite. Uh, DJing is my full-time job, okay? And I do have a, a Venmo. I do have a Patreon. I do have a Cash App. I do have PayPal. And if you ever did want to support me, like I said, if we had 100 people give a dollar a dollar a month, I'd have $100 a month. So The math. And the same with this Jockey News. Uh, we do have sponsors, but our, our budget, because of the way technology is um, and different things, we don't have the budget that we used to. Uh, we're, in fact, it, there are it's, unless I, I, I go to the DJ Expo this fall, I'll be paying for myself. And uh, there's no DJ, DJ and TV people that are going as official DJ and TV people. They might go individually, but that kind of all has been pulled out of our budget. So if you ever did want to support any of us, um, you can you can uh, talk to John. We also have a DJ and TV insiders area. You can join to get you all kinds of amazing videos uh, that can't be found anywhere else. Education, DJ educational videos from people all over the place, topics and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So those are ways to support us. Um, but, you know, like I said, this I, I thank you, Kelly Kel, for uh, uh, giving me a shout out and what I do, because I do want to help other people um, because uh, I think the reason I want to help other people is because uh, along the way, I've had a couple of DJs that really did help. They really were willing to help. And I found that amazing that they weren't stingy about their information. They weren't calloused about anything. They would just answer questions that I asked. And that's kind of what I want to do here. And I definitely want to shout out to John Young for giving me this opportunity on this platform to do this. Um, and that's, I just want to kind of answer stuff there. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Robin, for putting that in there. Uh, DJ Mikey Mike says around 1.30 a.m. or 2, it's cranking. Yes, it is. Later in the night, the chill room does crank. And this is how you get there. And I think I'm going to tune in after this on tonight after 10 p.m. and hang out for a little bit if you want to come over there and chat with me ask questions uh, like I said it's just open it's not for anybody you if you don't want to be on camera you don't have to have camera on if you don't want to have your mic on you don't have to have your mic on you can just sit and listen if you want you can join in in any level that you want to or not it's up to you but it is djntv.com forward slash chill c-h-i-l-l and that is the hangout room that happens every single night. And it happens late as it, as it comes with me here on the East Coast. But, you know, it's not so late for the West Coast people or other people in other time zones. But it gets started after 10 p.m. Eastern, usually uh, 10 or 11 o'clock. And you can go hang out there. Um, have you been doing any more Twitch mixing? I have not because I'm back to regular DJing. And I still want to do stuff over there, but I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, again, I, I'm a full-time DJ, and if I'm DJing two or three nights a week, like right now I'm not DJing two or three nights a week. I'm DJing like one. Um, next month, uh, I, it starts to double up again, so I'll be able to do more next month. But um, I just don't know if I want to keep going on Twitch because I did it as practice. So if I'm not doing anything DJ-wise, I'm still I'm going to go back to Twitch and do it as practice because most of the people who watch me on Twitch are other DJs. So if I goof up, they're going to see it, and I use that as an initiative to to myself to do better and, and to practice hard. Um, so it, 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 if things slow down, or like I said, if I get breaks in some of the stuff because I have stuff going on, I have uh, a a professional um, uh, uh, ultimate frisbee team. Man, I'm bad with names tonight. I, maybe I need more caffeine. Um, but uh, there's uh, leagues of, of Ultimate Frisbee, like professional corporate-sponsored things, and Pittsburgh has their own. It's called the Pittsburgh Thunderbirds, and I am their official DJ. And this Saturday is our opening night, so I get back to doing the live events even with them so that I'm doing the live games you know, in the stadiums and stuff. So it's all kind of developing and getting back together starting so it's an interesting thing but again back to the twitch question uh if i kind of slow down i'm going to use that as a practice because like i said most of the other djs watch and if i goof up i know they've heard they've seen it uh, someone who's not a dj probably doesn't see all doesn't hear all of the mistakes but djs know and i kind of like that i kind of want to do that so yeah moving down the list we still have a couple more minutes uh I uh, got a thumbs up. Yeah, feel free to share and thumbs up. I see people jumping in and out because I'm I'm watching the the feed and how many people are watching all over the place. And our numbers going up and down, so I'm not sure if I'm what you want to see or maybe I just need to bring a pretty woman in and and you can look at her while I talk because that seems to be a popular thing that it, it isn't about. Never mind. Um, DJNTV.com forward slash chill. Uh, people are saying they're too late, but do share, do thumbs up. Um, Feel free to copy and paste the, the different shows if you like the topics or different things. 
Um, uh, for anybody who's inside any one of the, um, you know, like the Facebook groups and different things like that, if I do a show on, on Virtual DJ, feel free to share it in there. Or if I do something, you know, somewhere and go, hey, he covered it this night, or John does a show, or any of the, our other people that do shows here on DJ and TV, uh, share our stuff out there. Like I said, also support if you're able to support, like I said, a dollar a month with as many people. Because I have give or, let's, let's just say average, I have give or take. 300 views on this show a week give or take some go a lot more some go a little less so if everybody who watched dropped a dollar in um i'd have a lot of money by the end of the month that's all i'm saying so again this is my full-time job i don't work a day job this is what i do so when i'm not djing i'm here working on stuff like today i was working on scripts and different things and videos and editing this is what i do uh the same with like like there we got howie and brian their show howie has a weekly show um, all these people, uh, uh, you know, they do this as kind of a, um, uh, a kind of a love for what they do. It, you know, it, it's we we want to help. So yeah, so definitely. Um, thank you, Ken. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. You guys are freaking awesome. See, that's why I love you guys and being here. Uh, again, I, I just want to share what I have. I don't have all the knowledge because I don't do a lot of weddings and different things like that. So a lot of you who watch, I can't help you a lot. Um, oh, Peter the Hubcap dude's here. What's going on? Hopefully, maybe I'll see you in the fall at the expo. Hopefully, I don't know if I'm going or not yet. I'm not going to plan to go until like last minute like I always do. Um, but definitely, I hope these videos are helping you with your questions. Again, keep in mind that next week, Jay is coming in. Jay Brennan from Pioneer is coming in to answer your record box questions and or Pioneer questions. I'm sure he'll field those also. But the show is about... Uh, record box. Uh, the week after that, I'm doing another virtual DJ question and answer. And keep in mind, next month in July, we are bringing someone in to answer your Serato questions. So we're going to have everybody covered in that. Um, I'm hoping to do the same thing with maybe some software. So if, I mean, hardware. So if there's some hardware companies you want to talk to, I'll see if I can grab someone about those to come in and different things like that. Um, uh, I did post a wheelie. For those of you who don't know, I always post a wheelie Wednesday picture every week, and I did post a wheelie Wednesday picture. Most of the stuff I post, for those of you who follow me, most of the stuff I post on on a keep going basis uh, gets posted in the story modes in Facebook story mode, Instagram story mode, Snapchat story mode, and Twitter story mode, which is called a a fleet is what those are called. Uh, that's where a lot of stuff goes in, including stuff that doesn't have to do with the DJ world because I put up all I put a video those of you who didn't see it it's not on there now you had 24 hours to watch it but I put a video up there of me wrecking uh, from my at my GoPro he on the helmet and I wrecked on Sunday and tumbled hard and I'm, I'm sore really sore from it and if you didn't watch it it's not it's only up there for 24 hours but do that and yes uh, my it, it is a, it is my art form it is part of my creativity and I am working on a book about creativity I'm finding a copy editor now that'll be out this year and that'll be another step in my life and stuff that I do is is being able to maybe help people in the creative side, not just the DJ side, but all sorts of creativity. So I'm hoping you're enjoying that. Um, uh, again, next week, Jay's coming. Uh, don't forget to check out some of the other shows uh, that go on DJ and TV. They're both live and pre-recorded. You're definitely going to do all that. Mike saw the wreck. <laughs> yeah, I, maybe I'll share it another time. I don't know. But uh, I definitely want to thank you all for tuning in uh, each and every week. It's just amazing to see, to feel the support of you guys tuning in and want to hear me talk. Because most of the people I know, family included, don't want to hear me talk. And you guys, you guys join here voluntarily to hear me talk. So I appreciate that. Um, again, throw topics at me if you have topics for future shows, ideas, anything like that. They all come for you. Um, uh Again, you guys, it's all about you guys. And my final my final thing, I always try to end each show with something positive and encouraging, that uh, this summer, uh, I'm really trying to be nice to myself this summer and take some time to, if nothing else, just sit and soak in the sun or the fresh air or something. So I encourage you this summer, it, it's going to help you if you can, if you have that blessing of being able to stop somewhere and take in... Uh, life a little slower for a couple of minutes, do so. I encourage you. It, it will help you in so many different ways in life, personally, business-wise, everything. So take a deep breath and enjoy time with friends, time with family, time by yourself, whichever you prefer. So until next time, uh, again, thank you. God bless and take care. <laughs>